Okay, so the Nintendo Switch has games, and it has a lot of them. You've got the popular franchises like the Zeldas and Pokemons and Marios that have multiple games on the Switch. Then you've got the not as popular Nintendo franchises like Pikmin and Luigi's Mansion that each have one game on the Switch. And then you've got some great Nintendo franchises that deserve games on the Switch, but Nintendo have just sadly swept them under the rug. With the Switch's huge amount of success, Nintendo have the power to revive some of their lesser known franchises. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about Nintendo franchises that need games on the Nintendo Switch. Real quick before the video starts, I'm not going to be mentioning two franchises, with the first being Metroid, as Metroid Prime 4 has already been announced for the Switch, and so I don't see the point to talk about it in the video. And the second being Star Fox, as Starlink Battle for Atlas has Fox McCloud as a playable character in the game. So I don't know if that counts as an actual Star Fox game on the Switch or not, but anyways, let's start the video. First up, we've got what I think is the least popular Mario franchise, and it is the Mario & Luigi series. The Mario & Luigi series sticks out from regular Mario games as they're focused heavily on character development and storytelling, with all seven games revolving around RPG elements. As well as that, these games stand out even more as you control both Mario and Luigi at the same time, which I found really fun. Games in the series have only ever been on handheld Nintendo devices, and so I think it's about time for them to make their way to home consoles. Now, the developers for Mario & Luigi games aren't Nintendo. It's actually a company known as Alpha Dream, and well, in 2019, Alpha Dream filed for bankruptcy. However, Nintendo could simply hand over the franchise to another development team, and boom, that'll get the series going again. I see this series making a return for two main reasons. The first being that it's Mario, and any game that Nintendo release with the word Mario in it always sells really well. And the second being that the 20th anniversary for the first game in the Mario & Luigi series is coming up, and a pretty cool celebration for that would be for the series to make a return on the Switch. Next up we've got what is probably the most underrated Nintendo franchise, and the franchise I'm talking about is Kitakaris. In all three of the Kitakaris games you play as Pit, who is a servant to Palutena, who is the goddess of light and the ruler of Angel Land which is where the games take place. Alongside Palutena, Pit, using his stupidly powerful bow, fights to save his home from Medusa, who is that girl with snakes on her head that we see in a bunch of movies. From what I've seen from the gameplay of Kitakaris Uprising on the 3DS, it seems really fun and looks like a great mix of action, platforming, and the shooter genre. Releasing a Kitakaris game on the Switch would allow for a huge new audience to be introduced to the Kitakaris games, which works out great for both Nintendo and for the fans. Now, my next reason for why we might get a game from the series on the Switch is definitely a stretch, but anyways, I'm still going to talk about it. So, as we all know, there are three fighters in Smash Ultimate from the Kitakaris series, with those being Pit, Dark Pit, and Palutena which is quite a lot for a series that hasn't had a recent installment, and so that might mean the series is in for a new game soon, but I've really got no idea. And I'm not too sure if we will see a Kitakaris game on the Switch, as games in the series seem to have huge gaps in release dates. So with the latest entry in the series being in 2010, the Kitakaris series might not even touch the Nintendo Switch. Now, the next franchise is kind of made up of two sub-franchises, and that franchise is the Warrior franchise, with the sub-franchises being Warrior Land, which is a platforming series, and WarioWare, which is more focused on micro games. Since 1994, every Nintendo console has had a Wario game, and for that reason alone, I think we'll eventually get a new installment of the franchise on the Switch. I don't really know what type of Wario game I'd want, as I played and enjoyed Wario Land Shake It on the Wii, which is a really fun platformer, but the Nintendo Switch is just flooded with great platformers, and so I don't think we need another one to pick from, and from a business standpoint, this kind of makes sense, as Nintendo wouldn't really want to make games that have to compete with each other. But then on the other hand, we've got the WarioWare games, that are just a collection of micro games, and I don't really know how many people would be interested in this sort of game. But in the past few years, Nintendo have seemed to love making WarioWare games, and so I reckon we'll get a WarioWare game for the Switch. Franchise number 4 is Nintendogs. And now I just love this series as it allows for people that don't have dogs to play with digital dogs, which is just perfect and amazing. And I'm joking, by the way, I've never played a game in the series and probably never will. However, I wouldn't even be surprised if the franchise gets a game on the Switch, as for some reason 28 million people have bought a Nintendogs game. And so Nintendo releasing a game from the franchise on the Switch will just be free money. The fourth and final franchise on the list is the Mother franchise, or also known as Earthbound. Earthbound is one of the most influential RPGs ever, and for some reason Nintendo acts as if the series doesn't even exist. The franchise is a pretty strong community considering a game in the series hasn't been released in over 14 years, and so I think it's time for an audition to the series. I really don't think it's that much to ask, as nothing about the games would have to be changed. Graphically, the game could be similar to how it was on the NES, as this franchise is known for its pixel art, and seeing as games in the franchise are known for having really weird stories, Nintendo could just let their imaginations run wild when creating the story. The only problem I can think of with a new Mother or Earthbound game is the sales, as I don't think they would be the greatest, which Nintendo probably knows, so that might stop them from releasing a game from the franchise on the Switch. Earlier I said that the community for the games was pretty strong, and I'm not taking that back, but it isn't the largest of communities. And then on the other hand, not many people even know of the series. 
However, if Nintendo would have advertised it enough and maybe let people know that Lucas and Ness from Smash Bros were from the Earthbound games, people might actually want to pick the game up. And with all that said, it's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments what Nintendo franchises you would like to see get games on the Switch. Subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo content. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and that's just about it, so bye.